Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, if I could have your attention, please. Ladies and gentlemen, if I could have your attention, please. All right. It is an absolute pleasure to welcome you all here this evening to the wonderful Echo for something very special indeed. Now, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Robert. I was actually flatmates with the groom for way too long. Just kidding, John. If you look around tonight, it is an intimate affair. You're all close family and friends, and you are here tonight for one reason only, and that is to help celebrate something very sacred indeed. Now, the band's gonna help you boogie the night away. The wonderful chefs here, very shortly, are plating some wonderful food for you that you're gonna really enjoy. But right now, you just need to sit back, relax, take a load off. We're gonna have a big night tonight, but I do wanna introduce four very special people. Obviously, without them, this day would not have been possible. So first up, the wonderful parents of the bride, Michael and Christine Stinson. Big round of applause. Now, Johnny said to me, I said, Johnny, where's your old man sitting? Oh, they took it off. He said he already had the bib on. He's ready to go. Ladies and gentlemen, big round of applause for the beautiful parents of the groom, Nicola and Maria La Rosa. Now, you notice the beautiful flowers on your tables, the arrangements on your tables, besides the vases which you must leave. You can take the flowers home with you at the end of the evening. Now, if you do grab a nice bunch, there's some paper, some string, and scissors, and you can package it all up and take it home. So that's for the end of the night. Don't take them now, obviously. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, earlier on today, they made their love official. And tonight, with the help of each and every one of you, their close family and friends, they will celebrate one of the biggest days in their lives. Ladies and gentlemen, your bride and groom. Big round of applause. Nice kiss for your wife, John. Nice kiss. Bar chair. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your attention. Sit tight. Food's coming your way. If you're looking for the restrooms, I believe they're in the corridor. Thank you very much for your attention. Enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if I could have your attention, please. How good's the food? Beautiful, right? These very talented staff behind us here at Echo always do a fabulous job. All right. So we've come to what I consider to be the most important part of this evening, the speeches. Now, there's two reasons why I do insist that we maintain silence in the room, besides the little ones. The first reason is a sign of respect for the families that are hosting you this evening. The second reason is a wedding celebration such as this one is the perfect opportunity to share feelings of love, gratitude, all the good stuff. And we want to hear all the words nice and clearly. So to start us off, he's the very proud father of the bride. Ladies and gentlemen, keep that applause going for Mr. Michael Stinson.
How good was that speech? Big round of applause for the father of the bride, ladies and gentlemen. Good on you, Michael. All right. Our next speaker, folks. There's so much resemblance between the two brothers. Big round of applause. He's feeling very proud today representing the family. How about a nice round of applause for Johnny's older brother, Mr. Joseph LaRosa. Both hands on the knife. Put that behind Johnny's back. Nice and close. Cross hands. Get ready. Look into the lens. Big smiles. On behalf of your parents, your family and friends, all of us here this evening, wishing you two all the very best. We've always said you made a fabulous couple. Make sure you're the start of something very special indeed. So after three. Here we go. One. One. Two. Three. three.